now gives me great pleasure to invite Dr. Jeff McMullen, CEO of the Ian Thorpe's Foundation for Youth, to the stage to officially launch Butcher Paper, Texter, Blackboard and Chalk. Thank you, Caroline, for that beautiful welcome to country. To the elders, those that have gone before and that have shown us the way, to the traditional owners that are still with us today, to the Bonjul, to Wurundjeri, to all of the clans who have shared this with us, I honour you because this is a very special milestone in the history of the country. It is something that I felt this morning at dawn. I live up near Barrenjoey Headland, so that's north of Whale Beach, up north in New South Wales, and I was heading to the airport at dawn, and I looked up Arch, and there was this big pelican over the bridge up north watching and I said to that pelican knowing the pelican dreaming was Ruby's dreaming the dreaming to which she returned I whispered these are the songs that you have given this country forever these are children's songs that reach out to the child in all of us this work the songbook, the music, all of the heart and love that has gone into this project because of the book, the, the song writing, because of the filmmaking that has captured something quite special. It will be with us forever. And every child in this country will be richer, stronger, and as they grow older, wiser, if they stay open as Ruby was to always be a child. Every child deserves to know these songs and to see them come into our homes and one day to stand together like this and to be able to sing them together. That's the great healing power of music. As a surprise, Archie, and to you, Myrtle and Wally, the other members of the family, we have a message today, a very short one, from another great troubadour, from a man who sat in the dirt and travelled to some of these same communities, to a man who knows the power of music, but now he happens to have a job. He's our country's federal education minister. Here's a short message from Peter Garrett to you. It's the Blackboard and Chalk. And just to say all the very best for today. This is a fantastic book and a great tribute to Ruby's creativity and spirit. Uh, thank you very much to all those who supported this book and I think it's going to be a fantastic addition in libraries right around Australia. Um, good on you brother, all the best for today and I know this book's going to make a great difference to the kids that get a chance to read it in the future. No one puts it better than Archie himself when he writes in the very moving forward, honouring his great love, his great life companion, when he said that Ruby had a way of speaking to children and listening to children and had that miraculous talent of being able to always find the child in herself. Only very wise people can do that. It's a lesson that she is sharing with us now. She also shows in this project her delicious sense of words. When she works with those children and she says, you have to have a story. You start a song with a story. What is your story, kids? What is your voice? What do you want to write about? What do you want the world to know about what you dream? That's what Ruby was opening up. And she loved words. It could be a word like biscuit. Or it could be the sounds, because she was getting those children to describe how the animals moved, how the birds sound as they came out at a certain time, and also, in a very powerful way, what this country tastes like, the spirituality of the country. When you hear Archie and Ruby and that big extended family of musicians singing, you can hear this country singing to you. You can taste the spirituality. 
you can actually let it wash over you like the Arakoon moonlight. That is what it is to be here. Whether you're up on Cape York or down here in the southeast, to feel the river country, to wander the coast, to bathe in the Arakoon moonlight, that is what Ruby knew children know. So what this book is saying to you, and when you listen to these songs and learn to sing along, it's actually saying to all of us who are older, stay forever a child like Ruby did. Stay forever free. Enjoy that wind in your hair. When she laughs and says, I don't like to be woken up in the morning, wakey, wakey, shaky, shaky, that's a good feeling. And then when you do get up, run, dream, stay strong, stay together. This is what she wanted you to feel. It's the feeling, it is the love, it is the heart and soul. And I'm pleased to say, now we have Ruby and Archie's music forever. It's a great pleasure for me to launch this beautiful collection of songs, stories and drawings. Drawings that she painted to the last day of her life. Thank you. Yeah, I, I asked Ruby. I, I, I asked Ruby if, if we ever did a ch uh, children's album, an album of children's songs, what would we call it? And uh, she thought for a while. And she said, "I know. We would call it Butcher Paper, Texter, Blackboard, and Chalk." I said, "Seriously?" <laughs> and she goes, "Yeah. You know why? Because that's how we wrote all the songs." I remember sitting down with, with a community of children one time and there were just heaps of butcher paper all over the floor or the ground if we were outside and, and uh, you know, with, with uh, words that the children wrote with blue text up. And uh, on the blackboard, she'd just walk up to the blackboard if we didn't have butcher paper or text up. She walked up to the blackboard and just wrote the songs or the words for the children uh, on the blackboard. And uh, so I thought we'd end up with this song, it's a fitting song. I wrote this song after we came back from there. And uh, it's just a tribute to the children. That's why it's so great to have the children here because uh, uh, Ruby's world was, was children.
swims by And the eagle Is a high Thank you.